someone else plays something they've never played before. So if you play the wrong part, it's right. If you play the right part, it might be right. If you play it wrong enough. But if you play it too right, it's just wrong. Yogi, that sounds pretty complicated. Well, it's just so hard to play. That it requires you to give 100% all the time. And then if that's not enough, you gotta give what's left. You see, because jazz fundamentally is 90% mental. And the other half, it's all in your head. Now I really don't understand. Josh, I haven't taught you enough for you not to understand jazz that way. <laughs> is a thing called syncopation. Could you tell us what syncopation is? Yeah, sure. Syncopation is when the note that you should hear now happens before or after you hear it. You see, in jazz, you don't hear notes when they happen because that would be some other kind of music. Now, other kinds of music can be jazz, but only if they're the same as something different from those other types. Yogi, I, I don't think I follow you. Oh, Josh, listen. Anybody who understands jazz knows that you can't understand it. It's too complicated. That's what's so simple about it. I... Uh, do you understand it? Of course not. That's why I can explain it. If I understood it, I wouldn't know anything about it.
Yogi, you've been friends with some of the real giants in the field of jazz. But are there any great jazz players alive today? Oh, Josh. All the great jazz artists alive today are dead. Except for the ones that are alive. But so many of them are dead that the ones that are alive are dying to be like the ones that are dead. The ones that were alive, though, we had some good times together, even when they weren't around. Well, can you tell us what we might expect in the future of jazz? Uh, honestly, I don't think I can. But I can tell you this, sir. Uh, the future ain't what it used to be. I do think jazz will be around for a long time, though, Josh. And why is that, Yogi? Simple. It ain't over till it's over. Uh -huh. 